Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the following videos we are going to cover lightning in Unity 5. For today we are going to talk about reflection probes. If you enjoy this video remember to leave a like and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials remember to subscribe to our channel. Now for this video I'm using the same scene as in the previous ones, just like you guys can see here. Now, before we move on, let's first turn our spotlight on and let's make it a point light again and change its color to white. Okay, yeah, it's a little bit too much bright, so let's just bounce intensity, reduce it a little bit, just like somewhere around here and yes I think it's good okay so before we move on let's imagine that you want to have uh, objects in our scene with reflection like a mirror for example how do you do it well uh, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that today and for that let's first create a new sphere so we go to game objects 3d object and we select sphere let's just center the sphere and place it inside our box for example here I think it's a good place let's call it reflection sphere okay so now you have our reflection sphere the next thing you want is to want to do is to give it a reflection material now for this I'm going to use the silver material that you can find in the shader, shader calibration scene in the Unity Asset Store. So if you guys don't have it, what you guys actually have to do is go to Window and you choose Asset Store. Now this is a free package so you can lo be downloaded for free and we wait while the Asset Store opens. OK and now what we are actually going to do is search for shader calibration and research and right here from Uni Technologies this is the the package you guys want to import to your projects that basically just have the material I'm going to use but if you want to create your own material be my guess but I'm going to use the materials from this project so you just hit import, download and import now I already have the assets in my scene so I'm not going to do that just to show you guys how to get it so after importing what you are going to do is you are going to this folder here PBS metallic where we have several materials and I'm going to, show, to choose the silver one and apply it to our sphere so as you guys can see our sphere is now reflecting the skybox okay so we have our sphere reflecting the skybox um, however is not reflecting our box so we have the skybox reflected but not the box now to solve the, to solve this issue um, we, you, we are going to use the uh, reflection probes so just like light probes the reflection probes will sample the area and create a cube map that will be applied to the reflective materials in this case our silver material so to add a reflection probe we are actually going to select our reflection sphere and we click here on add component and we search for reflection probe here it is and now we have a reflection probe component in our sphere here you can preview the, the reflection probe okay so um, next what you are going to do is to adjust the size of the sample area so if you move, if we move a little bit further we are, you are going to see this uh, box with these yellow lines uh, that it's bigger than our box uh, this is the sample area for the reflection probe 
Now we want these to have the same size of the of the box we are going we have in our scene, so we are going to adjust it. Now to adjust the size, we have a parameter here call it size and what we are actually going to do is change the X Y and Z values in order to um, change the size of the sample area now what I'm going to do is choose a view change it to orthographic and now I'm going to sh change the X value just like this change the Y value Just like this so it can be a little bit bigger but uh, the idea is to give um, a smaller area because we have a lot of sample area outside our box and we don't want that now let's just change for this size and change the z value so something like this and it should be good so now as you guys can see the sample area is actually inside our scene and if you guys actually take a look at this, it's reflecting our scene pretty good. So, working perfectly. So, um, next we have other parameters, so we actually can change the, the resolution of the cube maps, turn HDR on or off, uh, the shadow distance, the clear flags, the background, color mask, so my suggestion here is okay you can play around with these values a little bit but um, i'm going to just leave them as they are um, next what i'm going to show you is the the probe origin now right now our probe is at the origin which means that is at the same position that the sphere but we can actually change the origin as you guys can see of the probe what this, this is going to do is to change the the way the reflection is made now in our case we want it to be at zero because what, that's what makes most sense and this change it not really sure why um, just go to the front and turn it again okay so we are done um, so the idea here is what makes most sense is to leave the the probe origin at the at the origin of the object that is our reflection object, which is our sphere. Now, if we take a look at the at the sphere, you can see it here, or also take a look at here. So we are actually going to see two shadows. One in the bottom, which is this, the shadow of our reflection sphere, which is, is just fine, and a shadow on the wall, which is a shadow of our dynamic sphere. Um, now, if we press play, we are going to see it in action. And as you guys probably noticed already, I'm going to change to the scene view and try to give look here if you take a look the shadow is not moving and you, you can either see the dynamic wall either uh, now to solve that um, what we are actually going to do is to change the, the reflection probe options so let's just stop this animation we select our reflection pro and when you go here to type if you take a look we have bake it selected now you have three options bake it custom or real time we are going to change this to real time and if we press play now again let's let's go to the scene The, what happens is now that now you can see the sphere here but the sphere is stopped it, it's not moving like the real sphere now this happens because the sample is only created once 
on the awake which is the option that we have on the refresh mode now in order to update at every frame what you actually need to do is go here and select every frame now if we press play you guys can already see the ball bounce up and down let's go to here you can and the shadow bounce up and down every single frame now this may actually look good but it has a cost for the processor and which is actually a big cost for the processor so uh, what you actually can do here is depending of the case your specific case for your game select the best option for you so you can have it the the type to bake it if there is no 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 difference on it or if you want it real time for example uh, if you want a character to move in front of a mirror um, what you can do if for example let's pretend they have a bathroom with a mirror and there's only one mirror in the bathroom what you can actually do is well you can leave this option on real time and every frame because um, we're just talking about the mirror but keep in mind that you have if you have several reflection objects on real time and every frame that will have a very big cost for the processor so what you can actually do and it is this is the best way to do it when you are not talking about a place where the 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 character can be seen in front of a mirror or something like that is to let's just stop this is to instead of every frame you select via script now what this does is that uh, you using you use a script that will tell the the, the you tell the reflection probe when is going to get new samples so when it's going to be refreshed so instead of actually refreshing every frame you can use a script to tell you to tell the engine okay so uh, f let's take uh, a new refresh for example every 15 frames just to give a, an example so you, this is actually the best way to improve the performance in, of your game uh, however depends on the case so if if you have a bathroom with a with a character in front of it yeah every frame is just fine now remember that we have a very simple scene so um, you, you won't notice any any problems by using the real time and every frame in the scene that we had in the scene that we have right now but keep in mind that this is has a this is this has a a very um, high cost for the processor so in other scenarios you just you, sh you should use the refresh by via script uh, okay guys so basically this is how you use reflection probes in unity 5 hope you guys enjoyed it until the next video and have a nice day